Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers! In today's video, we're looking at another hydrogen powered dropship. This one is called the Huskout Dropship, which is this lovely thing over here, and hopefully I am saying its name correctly. But this is a dual cockpit ship that features two assault cannons, then a couple of auto cannons to blast your enemies with. The auto cannons are split between both static and turreted versions, as you can clearly see at the very front of the ship. And we also have a small section at the back of the ship, we've got a doorway to open up allow four people to come along with you on your adventure. We'll take a look at that a bit later on, but for now we're going to move the camera back like so, press F10, find it in the spawn menu, the Huskal Dropship, and there's his name right up there, is 890 small blocks using a couple of the DLC packs. We've got up here a nice bit of lore behind it, as well as all the way down to the bottom is specifications. As you can see we've got four passenger seats, which is that internal section at the back, and there's his armament up there. So going to give this thing a thumbs up, there we go. Before we go and have a look at the very front, what I'm going to do is just pan the camera all the way around, because this is the skybox I'm currently using, it has these very big sort of semi-circle sections all the way around, and there will be a link to it in the description below if you are interested in it. It has a very wide variety of yellows, and makes everything very bright and colourful. Anyway, back to the vehicle, here it is, all the way down for the very front, and here we are. So right at the very front for the Huskout dropship, this is what we get, and that's an industrial cockpit for your co-pilot to get inside, and control a few bits and bobs about the ship. The main controls are in the fighter cockpit right up there, and as you see between them we do have a top mounted camera to help precisely aim our guns. But surrounding both of them we then got our auto cannons and our two assault cannons to blush enemies with, and the assault cannons are strong enough to move the entire ship backwards, so for a quick demonstration, taking over that and firing them, there we go. And we're back to the free camera down to here, on the left and right we then got some spotlights to light up the darkness, to get a big closer look over onto the side here, past our turret, that simply has all been set up. Come up slightly over to here, and there's our fighter cockpit. If we come down and onto the side, here we come all the way around. There's a very clear view of our assault cannon and our auto cannons on each side. We also got magnetic plates below there to clamp ourselves down. Below the main body, there's our connector to actually dock up and refill our hydrogen, which could be very much needed to make sure this thing can get in and out of atmosphere. And above there, there's our doorway for our passengers to come along with us. Put the camera all the way through, here we go. So we've got four seats, two on both sides. Then also on both sides, splitting them up, and then got our weapon locker to store your guns and ammunition inside. But we'll come back to this a bit later on. And we across to here onto the side, here's our main hydrogen thruster pod, which features a bunch of hydrogen tanks, small hydrogen thrusters, large hydrogen thrusters. It's a fantastic use of our beam blocks, or these scaffolding blocks, giving them all the way around, adding a bit of decoration. All the way around towards the very back of this thing, here we are. So we've got three large hydrogen thrusters to boost us around. And we can also see a turret at the top there to help protect the vehicle from behind. So say a drone or a watcher system can counter enemy tries to sneak up behind you. You've got a little bit of defense so you can try and escape them and we'll get to your destination in one piece. And we down to here we see another magnetic plate right next to an antenna. Then we can also see some hydrogen engines right there and there. Give it a nice bit of power. Moving all the way up looking down. There we are. So there's our hydrogen tanks. There's our hydrogen thrusters. And there's a fantastic look at our turret on top, as well as a couple of use of our beam blocks and our scaffolding blocks, it's going all the way along towards our fighter cockpit. We've got our auto cannons and assault cannons. Moving all the way down underneath this thing, here we are. And there we are. So we've got, again, one half of a lot of hydrogen thrusters. There's our connector we already talked about. Then towards the back there, there's our O2H2 generators, which are connected directly onto our hydrogen engines. And there's the very back of this ship. And there we are. That's a brief look around the outside of this dropship. That's fantastic how it's all been set up. It's more of a fire ship than a dropship, because this thing is very well armed. Usually when I think dropship, I think of a, an armed ship. Much more bigger, much more bulkier one that can carry many more passages or cargo. But no, this thing can easily be doubled as a fighter ship, if that's what you want to do with it. But anyway, grabbing on my character, hopping out of the fire cockpit, coming over to the very front cockpit. Here we are, bring up the HUD. Then we've got a few controls for our turrets all the way around this ship. But we've got number one, number two to turn on and off our turrets, which could be very much needed if you want to say salvage the wreckage and the turrets keep blasting into it. Number three, number four is going to be to manually control your turrets. So here we go, we now fire that straight forwards. There we go. And then coming over to number four, there we are once again. Hopping out of that and pressing number five and number six, that's going to be your auto cannons and your assault cannons. There is no salvo script on this, so they are going to fire all at the same time. But turn the camera all the way around. Here we go. We're releasing the assault cannons, so we're just firing them one more time. And there we are, we just move slightly backwards. And they should do a nice bit of damage. But for our auto cannons, firing them all together, and bearing in mind the turrets are not active, here we go. And there we are, that should also do a nice bit of damage, especially when those turrets are fully active and blasting straight in as well. 
but then coming out of this cockpit, coming into the rear cockpit, here we go. We've got very similar controls on our one and two, so we should skip them out. But then we're three through a top mounted camera in between each of our cockpits, so we can now precisely aim our guns, and make sure we're not gonna waste any ammunition. Hopping out of that, four and five we've already talked about. Number six, then the master toggle for your hydrogen thrusters all around the ship, turn them on and off. Number seven, turn for your connected below the vehicle to lock and unlock it. Number eight, so also lock and unlock, that's for your magnetic plates. And then number nine is for your antenna turn on and off, but if you want to be very sneaky or make yourself well known. And as for that, that's it for the controls. So zoom the camera away, it's now time to drive this thing around. So moving forwards, here we go. As you can expect from having three large hydrogen thrusters on a small block ship, we are bloody fast. Let go forwards, as you can see we are still bloody fast at slowing down. It's not as fast as moving forwards because we do have one additional thruster helping us out, but still perfectly fine at the end of the day, no risk of slamming into anything you want to keep, and we should do very well in the long run. Moving left, and moving right, a little slower than moving back, and nowhere near as fast as moving forwards, but still perfectly serviceable for this type of vehicle. Moving up should be nice and fast, yes it is, then moving down should be a bit slower, and there we are. And as for gyroscope patrols, moving this thing around, this thing is surprisingly heavy, but it has a nice big chore over it. So we can precisely aim this thing around, so we need to, say, try and track a fast moving target. We can still move this thing around, but it's going to leave a lot to be desired, especially if they are scooting around very close to you. Because as you see there from the red goal, it does drag around quite a lot. But as for that, that's pretty much for the outside, and pretty much it for the controls. One thing I did forget to go through before we actually go and blow this thing up or find some space pirates is the interior. Don't know how I forgot this, but here we come around to the door, only up this, and dropping all the way down. If I can actually get my character inside, there we are. So the door has the auto door and LL script, which is currently present up there, so it's easy displayed and can be swapped out for anything else you want. Around the room, we've got some interior lights on the corner to make sure we've got a nice bit of light inside here. Just hopping in the seat to make sure my camera doesn't go too wonky. Here we are. So four seats, two on both sides, we're blocking in the middle. Plenty of vent vents to make sure if one fails, you're not going to suffocate inside here. Then up there is a couple of gyroscopes. And of course that will lead to our cockpit at the front. The ground towards the back, not much else to talk about. So now finally I can hop out of the seat, come outside, and I'll get back into the cockpit if I can. Come on, you can get outside. There we go, before the door tries to kill me. And there we are. So now back into the final cockpit, and putting on my signal, there should be some space pirates around here. Oh, wrong button. There we are, I've got a new keyboard, so my buttons are on the wrong locations. And I don't think there's going to be anything around here, so I might need to scoot around closer to a planet to see if they spawn. So unfortunately I could not find any space pirates in the surrounding areas and they did not want to spawn despite me jumping around quite a lot. So instead I plopped it down in the black hole and we're simply going to ride it out and slam straight into the middle because it is a solid section in the middle that should blow us up quite nicely. I'm not too sure how long this is going to take so I might need to scoot this character or this ship even a bit closer to the middle. So we come to the free camera, a bit closer over to here, that should do quite nicely. So grabbing hold of this, here we go, here is the massive void in the middle. And there's of course our speed and gravity, this thing is absolutely dangerous to be flying close to, although it's not too dangerous, it does have about a 45 meter or 45 kilometer range for it actually starts to suck you in. But here we go, the first person view is absolutely terrifying because it's completely pitch black. And it's looking around there, we see we're getting closer and closer and closer, back into a third person view. And yes, there is the void and it's about to destroy us. So we're about 700 meters away from the flat surface in the middle, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, and there we go, a nice big explosion to end this video. It looks like my character's currently getting crushed by the rest of the vehicle, and now we've faded to black, and a slight bit of blue in there, how about that? But anyway, that is that for the Huskar dropship, it's a fantastic little dropship to use in your world, if you do want to have something to get you from the Earth-like planet into space, and also use for a bit of combat, say if you are using a modern scenario, or you just want to have bit of defense against any pesky drones. So be linked to the description below so you should download and play around yourself, as well as link to the Skybox I'm currently using, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.